Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You are back with Mystery Meerkat, and once again we are returning to Kingdom Come Deliverance. Uh, so last time out, uh, we basically were still in Scalettes uh, at the beginning of the episode, uh, got beaten up by some bandits, and then we uh, recovered and did uh, some jobs for Peshek, uh, the, uh, the Miller's daughter's uncle i think he was but uh but yeah so we're just going to continue on from there and see what else we have to do anyway guys hope you enjoy the episode right so i think he's going to be in this house here somewhere As his dogs. They don't really seem bothered by me though. Hello. Executioner Herman. Let's see if we can try and get him out of the house. Miller Peshek sent me. He's very sorry, but by mistake, he didn't give you the full weight of flour last time. He says you should come and get the balance. That rogue. How much is it? Half a sack. That's nothing to sneeze at. It certainly isn't. I'll go there right away. Excellent. Here's Executioner Herman. Thank see you in a bit. Sir. Right, we've got to be quick about this. Well, definitely don't want to sit if we're going to be quick, right? There's one here. Oh, okay, that didn't work. Ah, oh, man. Keep losing this. This is quite hard, this one. There we go. There's no exact science to it either. There goes tunic, bludgeon, brown felt, a hat, bit the groschen. I don't really bother about anything else in there. There we go. Red man's ring. What? This is nothing but an ordinary copper band. It's not worth a tin penny. More stuff to unlock, so let's do that. I would imagine if this guy. Oh, we've got blue scarf. Nice. Oh, there's a sword. Nice. Right, let's get out of here. Yes. Successfully robbed. Right, we just need to get back. We give the other guy now. I can't believe that. We got a sword as well. That sword looks mint. Uh, weapon. Yes, sir. You can stab people with the piercer, which. 
Yeah, no, I think I'm going to stick with the axe for now, but the pierce is worth a lot of money. Was there a mission up there? Yeah, let's go and grab that. This is an unexplored place, so... What do we have here? The baths. Bath Get made. Aid. What do you want? Good luck then. Where's the mission located? Who's there? Hey! Lost something here about? You could at least dress decently before showing your face in public. Uh... Good sorry. Luck, then. Hey, you there. Are you going to hang around here gaping like a stuffed squirrel all day and night? If you can't pay for what a What do bar, you want? You've no business here. with you. Here. Are you the brawler who takes bets? What's it to you? Well, I'm a Scalit's refugee and I'd like to try my luck against you. Hang on, I know who you are. And I'll only fight you for silver, got it? Why for silver? Do I really have to tell you? Look at yourself, and then look at the others. All they've got to wager is their labor. But you, you've got coin. Are there any rules? Aye, a couple. Whoever lands on his arse or runs, loses. And no knives, axes, or any of that shit. You'll forfeit your wager for that, got it? All right, let's fight then, if you think you can take me. Hold okay. your horses, laddie. First, you have to prove you're a worthy opponent for me by beating two other regular brawlers, Stephen and a fellow they call Ringlet. Take care now. Okay, so we've got to go and have a what fight with some people. At? The bars are for paying guests, not idlers with nothing better to do. Do you want something? Let's go and have a word with the miller. Good day to you. Good day to you. I'll have that ring for you. Good. Nice to know you're the sort of lad I can trust with a job like that. Now run with the ring to Wojtek, the miller in Kohelnitz. He'll have some work for you. And I'll have something for you soon too. A clever fellow like you will never want for work. At the very least, I'll buy risky goods from you. I mean, the kind that used to belong to someone else and you can't sell to just anyone. Hmm. You'll buy stolen goods from me. Oh, thanks for your trust. I'm sure that'll come in useful. I've got some goods here whose owners might miss them. All right. Let's see what we can do about that. I'll see you later. They will meet me in the middle. Hi, that would do it. 185 coins there, nice. Alright, let's see what stuff we might want to wear here. Blue scarf. We don't want to wear the, the hose, apparently. So we can sell some of this stuff back to this dude now. I've got some goods but... here whose owners might miss them. All right, let's see what we can do about that. Goodbye. Everything's expensive there. All right, we need to sleep. How long do we want to sleep? the place snoring here clear off get up 
What are you doing lying here? Get the hell out! Sorry. Can you tell me something about the other millers? I got in the wrong bed. There's a couple of other fellows around here in my trade. Wojciech in Kohelnitz and Simon in Sasa. Tell me about Wojciech. He's young and hot-blooded with a short temper. But he's a fine fellow when you get to know him. His heart's in the right place and he's always willing to lend a helping hand. Unfortunately, he got himself into a feud with that usurer, the merchant Wolfram Pruder. A slimy bastard he is. And now they're sworn enemies. What about this Simon in Sassau? An odd one he is. A loner who don't talk much. But he's as dogged as a hunting hound once he gets his teeth into anything. He won't let go until he sees it through. Even if he has to walk over dead bodies. Nice. Tell me something about yourself. There's nothing much to tell. I was born at the mill. I live here. And I'll surely die here. But before I do, I've plenty of work to do. And I hope I live to see peace in this land again. Can you tell me... What about the Scallets, folk? God sent them to punish us for our sins. They don't work. They just idle around begging. And you want to keep a close eye on your belongings when they're around. I'll be glad to see the back of them. Nice. What do you think about everything that's happened? I don't concern myself with the doings of my betters. But this mess isn't good for business. Them two brothers should sort things out between themselves without dragging us into it. I don't give a damn who's king, but that usurper from Hungary has gone too far. Do you know anything about those Cumans? The heathen scum that Sigismund brought here. Why do you even ask? You've seen with your own two eyes what they're capable of. Fair point. That's all. Would you teach me something about the uh, milling craft? Like how to get things out of strangers' purses into your own? Aye. Why not? You're handy enough. No doubt you'll master it. Come behind the mill where we won't be seen. Good luck then. Well, that's better than. Let's go and learn how to pick a pocket, guys, I guess. Could have just left the door open for me, you know. I'll stand here and pretend I don't know you're there. You try sneaking up behind me without me seeing you and take something from my purse. First, okay. you have to rummage in the purse. The longer you do it, the better chance you have of finding something valuable, but also of getting caught in the act. Once you've found something you want, you've got to pull it out carefully, but fast enough so I don't notice. Try stealing my dagger. It's there, mixed up with other things. Picking pockets is no joking matter. If you're caught with your fingers in someone else's purse, either by the victim or by a witness, they'll raise the alarm and you'll be pursued as a thief. In order to rob someone successfully, you have to you first have to sneak up on them unnoticed and then by holding E, begin pickpocketing. The first step is to grope around inside the purse by holding E. That's not easy, especially if your victim is on the move. The longer you can grope, the more time you will then have to select what you want. In order to then steal, you have to exceed... The minimum time for groping, which you will recognise from uh, by the background of the rose changing colour from red to green. The amount of time you have left for the second stage of stealing is shown by the number in the middle of the rosette. Keep a close eye on the colour of the rosette. When it's light green, your victim has no chance of catching you. But as it starts to get darker and turn red, chances of you getting caught in the act increase. Here you've ditched your hand into someone's purse and you have to get it out of the loot before your time is up and you're caught. You're an experienced pickpocket and expert on items. You fully learn the item expert perk. You can also see the properties of the stolen item. The item you've just stolen, the time that remains before you're caught. Uh, okay. I think I've got it.
caught you. If this was for real, I'd be yelling for a guard. Try it again. Okay. There. Oh, there we go. That's the way. I hardly noticed you were there. I think you're ready to try it out for real. Best practice on drunks and sleeping folk, so you don't end up in jail before you even get started. Thanks, Pashek. You're welcome. But I'll be having that dagger back now. Hmm. Okay, well, that's that little uh, little bit done there. Um. I'm not entirely sure what I really want to be doing next. Let's have a look on the map see what we have. Uh, but see, we've got to go and... Go to here. Yeah, we're going to fast travel to Rattay's lower gate. I like how the, uh, the little piece moves along the map as well there, that's pretty cool. Let's get in here and see what Sir Radzig has to say. Right then. But yeah, so far these last few episodes pretty much just been me running around doing stuff. There's loads of these pots around everywhere. Right. Uh, not quite sure what's going on there. Does it say that there's something around here? Quest giver. Obviously one of these people. I see you survived. Aren't you observant? You still owe me. Don't think I've forgotten. I don't owe you. I owe your father. And he's dead. So get out of here! You can't avoid this forever, you know. Of course I can! It's you who can't piss me off forever! Do you really want to make me angry? Do you really think that's wise? No, I don't. Fine, I owe you. And what am I supposed to do about it? You think you'll get anything from me? Look at what I've got! But maybe I could... Maybe I could tell you where you can find some money. If you forgive my debt, that is. All right then. Start talking. No! First I want you to swear you won't be demanding anything else from me. Very well then. Talk. When we were running from Scalettes, I heard something. I don't know who said it. It's a miracle I could even hear it in that chaos. Either way, somebody hid a lot of coin under a dovecote. Under a dovecote? And that's it? That's all I know. How many dovecots could there be in Scalitz? If you've got the guts to go back there, you're bound to find it. Fine. Fair enough. We'll see. Oh, here we go. Could that be the smith's son, Hal? On my soul. It is him. What are you doing here, lad? We thought you were done for. Hmm. I'm going to see Sir Radzig. I was attacked by pandas. And why, for God's sake, did you go back there? Who else but cutthroats and bandits did you expect to find? I needed to bury my parents. Oh, I see. Your father fought like a lion. I'm sorry. He saved my life. And not just yours. He was a good man, and you did right to bury him. I didn't well, even you. manage that. I failed to save him or put him to rest. And just what could you have done at Scalitz? If you tried to fight, the both of you would be dead. He gave his life for yours, Hal. So you'd better make good use of it. You're right. And just what are you doing here? I must speak with Sir Radzik. Is he here? He's in the palace with Sir Hanush of Ratai. They're feasting in the knight's hall. What do you want with him? My father made him a sword. 
He, um, he asked me to deliver it to Sir Radzig. I don't see any sword. No. Bandits attacked me and stole it. I need to tell his lordship what happened. And then I'm going to find the sword. Of course you are, Hal. Good luck. Thanks. You must be up to no good sneaking around in the dark. Light a torch before the catchpoles see you. There we go. Your graces, I have to tell you in all seriousness that this land of ours is in the shit. Deep fucking shit. Don't you agree? I might not have put it as eloquently as you, Hanush. But I've been driven out of my own castle, so I'm hardly going to disagree. Indeed. But Pirkstein is yours for as long as you need it. There's room enough for your men and you here at Ratte, and I'm sure my ward won't have any objection to me lending you his castle. I'd be honoured. Pirkstein is at your disposal as long as you wish, Your Grace. Just as well you have another castle at the other end of town, eh? <laughs> Uh, at any rate, I'm beholden to you, Sir Hans, and to you, Sir Hanosh. Mm. I don't like to speak ill of your people, Sir Radzik, but, well, there's no love lost between the townsfolk and the refugees. There's been talk of criminality. No, well, they'll have to get used to it until the situation's resolved. But when will it be resolved? And what on God's earth is this war even about? No. I won't lie, sir. I don't understand it. You aren't alone, Father. I believe Sigismund's original intention was to persuade Wenceslas to accept the Imperial Crown and to leave the rule of Bohemia to him. Well, who could blame him? I know Wenceslas is a friend of yours, Radzig, but even you have to admit he brought it upon himself. I can't deny the King neglected affairs of state for other pursuits. There is a need for order in the land, but I don't think the lords who sided with Sigismund realized just what Hungarian order looks like. <laughs> Hungarian order. <laughs> what concerns me, sir, is how a good Christian could resort to such brutality. To give him his due, I don't think he expected the lords of this country to stand behind the king. But thanks to him, we're tearing ourselves apart, and now he has to get things under control. But why in God's name does he have to use those barbarians? Money is the root of all evil, young sir. Wars are costly, and this one has dragged on for a year. Sigismund ran out of coin for knights, so he recruited those whore sons that settled in Hungary. The less he pays, the more they make up for it with plunder. That's why he attacked us. He was after our silver. What are you doing? You have no business here. Clear off. Wait, it's Henry. Henry, who disappeared after I clearly <laughs> ordered him to remain at Taunberg. I'm sorry, sir, but I had to bury my parents. Had to? Do you think you were the only man who lost someone there? But the others listened to their lord. And it wasn't just your own life you nearly threw away. So Robard and his men risked theirs to save you. I'm sorry, but I had to. No, oh, there you go. When you have to, you have to, Radzik. <laughs> your father was a remarkable man. And your mother, she was remarkable too. They deserved a Christian burial. Did you manage that at least? No. I was attacked by thieves. I wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for that girl. Girl? The miller's daughter, Teresa. <laughs> the miller's daughter saved you from the footpads? Well, there's a tale to tell your children. I owe her my life. She distracted them and then brought me to Ratai. But without Sir Robard, we'd both be dead. Oh, well, that's what I call a good woman. Hang on to that one, lad. Still, it's a great shame your parents are buried in unconsecrated ground. That means purgatory for them. Be quiet, friar. I didn't invite you here to eat me out of house and home and deliver a sermon while you were doing it. If you're so concerned, Father, maybe you should save the innocent souls of these fine Christians yourself. Go to Scalitz and consecrate their graves. I assure you, if you're killed by bandits, your soul will soar straight to heaven as long as someone buries you in consecrated ground first. If there's anything left to bury, 
That plump carcass of yours would be quite a feast for the wolves and the crows. <laughs> and one skeleton looks much like another, so how would we know which were your ordained bones or those of Sigismund's Tartars? Be that as it may, why have you come here? I must get your sword back. Sword? My sword hangs here at my side. No, the sword my father forged for you. One of those thieves stole it from me. They almost killed him and he already wants to go back. Takes after his father, I suppose. Lad, I've lost a castle, a village, silver mines and a good half of my subjects. Why would I miss one sword? Because it's the last one my father forged and I promised him I'd deliver it to you. I understand. I'd feel the same way. But prudence is the better part of valour. And a dead man keeps no promises. Aye. The woman had to save his fat from the fire and now he wants revenge. What kind of fool are you, boy? He's no fool. Henry, you have courage. But you need training, arms, a horse. Or do you mean to beat this thief at dice? No, sir. Mm. Please, take me into your service and give me the chance to learn these things. The gall of him. Fled from the enemy, disobeyed your orders, <laughs> duped Sir Divish, lost your sword, put Sir Robard in danger with his actions, and now he wants a promotion. You're damn right. Sit down, okay, bitch. Man, right. What you say is certainly true, except for fleeing the enemy. You would have run as well. Believe me. Henry's earned some punishment, but how do you punish someone who's already lost everything? Hmm? Courage and blind obedience are good qualities for a soldier. But a wise man also appreciates loyalty, perseverance, and determination. Besides, that was a fine sword that his father made. If he thinks he can get it back, I won't turn it down. My lord, he's a peasant. You can't make a squire of a peasant. Why not? Someone made a priest of a pig. <laughs> if he's a peasant father, he's a blacksmith. And recent events have left me in need of his skills. So... You'd like to enter my service. So I... Yes, I would. You won't regret it. <laughs> oh, I probably will. I'm doing this for your father, lad. Don't disappoint me. Oh, fortune has finally smiled on you today, lad. Make the most of it. Now that I think about it, Sir Hanush, the boy needs training and experience, and you need spear carriers. Hmm. That's true. Bailiff is always complaining about your people making trouble in the camp. Maybe one of their own among the guard might help. It might. In any event, it will prove valuable experience. <laughs> but let's be clear. You're the one paying him. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Bernard, see to his training, and then send him to the bailiff. Yes, sir. And don't spare him. You can rely on it, sir. Don't forget, Henry. Don't disappoint me. I won't, my lord. All right then. Go to the training ground and talk to Captain Bernard. Okay, so what are we doing next then? Training ground. Okay guys, so... This has been a lot better today. Um, the changes that I've made as well to the system have really worked and helped me out like quite a lot um now it is night so i'm going to go back home can i try can i fast travel back home yeah yeah we're gonna fast travel back home and get some sleep till the morning But while I do that, guys, I am going to end this episode here.
Um, I'm really enjoying this game. I know I've said it quite a few times, but I, I really am enjoying playing this game. And, and now we've got some of the stutter issues and everything fixed. Uh, it seems to be running quite nice and smoothly now. Uh, now I've made those changes, so especially in the cutscenes. Uh, last time out it was sort of stuttering quite a lot. And um, to the point where it was like, you know, 10 frames per second at some instances. So, yeah, it's um, nice to see that that's changed. Breeze is in bed. I'm going to get in bed. I'm presuming the dad's in bed too. Yeah. Sleep and save. There we go. Uh, how long do we want to sleep for? What what time even is it? Like 6, 7, 8, 9. Well, we don't want to sleep till 12. So. But yeah. Anyway. As I was saying to you guys. Before I was rudely interrupting myself with the uh, sleeping mechanic. <laughs> um, if you have indeed enjoyed watching the video, please do leave a like. Uh, any comments that you got, leave them in the comment section down below. And as always, I will respond to those for you. And uh, last but not least, if this, this is the first time uh, that you visited the channel and you have enjoyed the content, then please, please, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, it helps me out a ton, uh, it helps me out a bunch. Uh, it's always uh, appreciated. And uh, yeah, don't forget to tick that little, little notifications bell as well so that you get all the, uh, all the updates when I'm releasing content. Anyway guys, with all of that drivel being said, until the next time, peace out.